So for today, we're going to be looking at the Galahorn inspired armor sets for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we usually review the armor, which is right here, and the shader video, which is also right here. And then after we're done with those two videos, we get into making individual sets with some of the pieces or all of the pieces for that armor. So that is pretty much how we do it. We usually do it for the Hunter settings and Warlocks in that order because I'm a Hunter main and then... That's how I usually play my classes. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people who actually come to my channel are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, if you like the content, like, comment, sub, it really does help. And again, hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, I do not know where my head was going for this one. Honestly, I actually just remembered I was going for a feathered serpent type of feel. And I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, the Warriors Memorial Mask cannot be in this set. Like, just use another helmet. That being said, I like where my head's going with this one. It's just the fact that I really hate that helmet. Um, I'm pretty sure someone's going to make it look cool. I just personally don't really fuck with the helmet. So, for the helmet, obviously, Warriors Memorial Mask. For the arms, we're going to be using the Charmed, I'm sure, ornament for the Liar's Handshake. Viper Zeal Vest for the chest piece. Robo Raptor Talons for the boots. And then the polar predators cloak for the cloak so this is literally what i was going for when i when i put the helmet on i was like well i want to see what i can do with it and i ended up going for the viper zeal and then from there i was like well there's a snake buckle let's see what i can do with this and i already had the polar predator on and immediately it was like oh well i can go for like a quetzalcoatl type of feel which if you guys don't know what quetzalcoatl is it's a uh, quetzalcoatl Am I? Yeah, Quetzalcoatl is the like feathered serpent in Mayan and um, and Aztec lore or mythology, which I think what it, what is it? I think it's Kukul Khan for for Mayans, and then for Aztecs it's a uh, Quetzalcoatl. So that was kind of like my head cannon, like oh I'm gonna go for like a Quetzalcoatl slash Kukul Khan look, and I like where the head my, where my head's going. I think I should have chosen a better shader because Cryptic Insignia, while cool, does not really inspire the Quetzalcoatl look because Quetzalcoatl is supposed to be very uh, like it's a feathered serpent, so it's supposed to be very uh, luscious and colorful. So I definitely think I should have chosen a better shader. But again, that's kind of where my head was going when I was making this. I was like, fuck it, let's just go for a snake look because the helmet kind of looks like serpentine, kind of. I guess it was where my head was going, maybe. But either way, let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using Blight Ranger for the exotic. And for this one, I ended up going for a night look for the Arms Warriors Memorial Grips is what we're using. White Wolf Vest for the chest piece, Catch Killer Strides for the boots, and then Ephrodite's Iron Cloak for the cloak for the shader in Silver Snare. And honestly, it's really funny because in the review video for this armor set, I actually said that the Warriors Memorial Grips, uh, I, was not, I wasn't a big fan of it. I really like it with this combo. That being said, I really like it specifically because it has chainmail on the upper parts of the arms. And with White Wolf Vest, I think it looks really, really good. That being said, remember that these two shader differently. The White Wolf Vest, I think, takes the main color. No, the off colors. And the Warriors Memorial Grips takes the main color, if I remember correctly. But I really love this set just because uh, it really gives off the vibe of a... I guess like a like a medieval warrior, but the helmet gives off that like really like weird like almost magician vibe. I don't know. I really really like this one. Let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, I am actually taking one of the sets that I made for the Viper Zeal, and it's the helmet. I think this one came out really cool. The Warriors Memorial Caress was a good choice for this one because I think the chest piece and the boots go really well together. So for the helmet, Viper Zeal Mask. For the arms, Virtuous Grips. For the chest piece, Warriors Memorial Caress. For the boots, it's going to be the Calliope's Lullaby. For the Orpheus Rig. And then Abyss Walker Cloak for the cloak. For the shadering, Grand Luster is what we're using. So this is a variation of a set that I've made with Calliope's Lullaby before. But the only pieces that are actually like those pieces is Calliope, Calliope, Calliope's Lullaby with the Abyss Walker Cloak. I think those are the only two that I'm like, I use this before. Maybe the Virtuous Grips. But I really like the addition of the Warriors, Warriors Memorial Caress and the Viper Zeal Helmet. I really like this combo a lot. Will it actually change my Orpheus Rig set that I already have? Probably. I have a, I have a bunch of sets that I have for Orpheus Rig just because specifically for 
two ornaments, or I think it only has two ornaments. For the for the two ornaments that it has, I have a lot of sets because I think the ornaments look better than the actual default look. Let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, we're going to be using the Warriors Memorial Strides and Cloak. And I actually really like this one a lot. So for the helmet, we're going to be using the Assassin's Cowl with the Armory Exhibition Ornament. For the arms, White Wolf Grips. For the chest piece, Unyielding Favor Vest. For the boots and cloak, again, like I said, Warriors Memorial. So I like this one a lot because of the shader, Iron Fashite. So the reason I like this one a lot is because... It's like a lot of dark colors and then you see that brown color which is really really cool gives it you know what honestly i would have probably no i think the armory i was gonna say the armory exhibition looks really cool i just really don't like that you can't see any brown up there it kind of looks super dark and it's way too dark to really showcase how cool armory exhibition looks but i also think that's kind of a strength because when you do see it you're like oh shit. so I really like this one just because the combinations of each piece is really, really cool. The arms, you you see that little brown there, so it gives more of that color. The chest piece with the cloak look really cool because the the brown like stripe or the, yeah the brown uh, stripes of color go into the actual eagle wings, which looks really, really cool. And I think honestly, the only piece that I would probably switch out would be the boots. Um, again, like I said, they just look like power ranger boots which doesn't mean they're bad it's just it doesn't look cool with the set like from the waist up and the arms it doesn't look like it goes well with it that's my biggest issue it just doesn't look like something a medieval warrior would be wearing which is kind of the whole thing of the galahorn armor set so let me know what you guys think i definitely think there's some bangers in here i really really like the last one a lot that being said, I think the Calliope's Lullaby looks really, really cool as well. Even the second one, I think the second one is probably the best one. And I think the first one's like the weakest one. So, so yeah, Hunters, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Remember, Titans, Warlocks, you guys will have your own videos soon. Probably uh, the day after this one. So, tomorrow, you guys will have your Titan video. And then the day after that, Warlocks, you guys will have your video. And then after that, we'll be getting into the tactical sets because I still have not posted that even though I already have the video technically done. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.